So what does it mean to let people feel what it is that you say? What it actually feels like when you're using emotion to a listener, to an audience, is that you mean what you say and you say what you mean. An example would be if I said, it's a beautiful day today. It's very different to saying, it's a beautiful day today. I stressed out a word, beautiful day today. I made it longer, but mostly is I felt what I was saying. I could feel, I could create an image of a beautiful day. I connected to the language. And that is lacking often in people who are reading scripts and just speaking logically, there is no emotion. And when there's no emotion, the actual penetration of what you say, the effect of what you say has less impact because the way you speak can have a, a lot more power when you feel what it is that you say. Now, everybody's afraid of emotions. They're afraid of expressing vulnerability. Now, you can choose your emotions and you can choose to use them in a way that makes what you say more effective. And notice that in your personal life, perhaps this is happening, but when it comes to your business life, you sort of don't allow those emotions to come in. And this is when you're missing out. You're missing out on the ability of creating beautiful language and beautiful messaging for people. And also you enjoy it a lot less because you're not feeling what it is that you say. So let's practice. Practice feeling your words, whatever you're conveying, even if it's data, boring updates. Find the meaning and the purpose of those updates. Notice what those updates are actually pointing towards. What's the purpose of the update? What are the benefits? What are the changes? And express that through the emotions and not just the content. So we don't want to just speak words, but we actually want to convey a message. So again, an example would be, it was a delicious, delicious meal. It'd be very different saying, that was a delicious meal. One is very logical, just words, and the other one has more expression. It was a delicious meal. Or if you had to do something work-related. So everybody today, we need to do our usual update, but I want to make a point that there's been significant changes. So notice me pausing and inflecting and emphasizing certain words. Instead of saying, today we are here to do our usual update. Well, today we're here to do our usual update. Don't be boring. Let's be expressive. Let's connect to our emotions and use our feelings to convey messaging more powerfully. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this recording. I hope it has helped you. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.